Question number 33, well, in the mamma and number uh, So let's start with the question number 33. Now, this question is on uh, image compression. Image compression means, uh, I think you remember, images consist of pixels, right? So we discuss every image, we have pixels. So if we have an image, so we can break into rows and columns. And when you take up this one of these square shaped block, we call it the pixels. Um, so the, if you want to represent the image as it is, you need a lot of space. So to reduce that, we can use image compression. So question asks, which of the following statement regarding image compression is are true, right? And then it says with lossless compression. So there are two compression, lossy and lossless. Now, what do you mean by loss? So there are two compression. We can compress this, right? We can make it a small. And if you can get the exactly the same image back, we call lossless. We call lossless. If you can get the exactly the same image, we call lossless. But after that one, if you're getting uh, not the same image, we call lossy, right? So the A says with lossless compression, every single bit of data was originally in the file, remains after the file is uncompressed. Yes, it's true. So lossless means you compress it. And once you get it back uncompressed, right, you are getting the same. So A is correct answer. Then B says lossy compression. So why we need lossy compression to reduce the size, right? So the lossy compression is used to data size to age, handling and transmission. So that is also true. That's why we have a lossy compression. So usually you have a reduced data size. So B is also correct. Now we have part C. Lossy compression is the larger files than lossless compression. No, it's not true. So remember, lossy is always you get a smaller file but you might not get the exact same image. So the answer is A, B only. About 80% of the time, you got the correct answer. Right. So that is question number 33. So let's move on to question number 34. So the question number 34 is on e-government services. So this is an easy one. Which of the following is a not an example e-government service? Not an example. Uh, accessing GC O level results, it's a government service. Downloading national ID card application, it's a government service. Paying water bills is a government service. But buying items from an online shop is not an government, it's a private and usually business to customer or business to business uh, service. So the second one is the answer. And question number 35. Right, now we have given a pseudocode environment. So we have payment option false. If distance is greater than 100, we say payment option true. If vehicle type is bus, then payment is false and so on. Which of the following correct according to the above pseudocode? Right, now you can put this value. If the distance is 90 and vehicle type car, payment option will be made true. So let's look at payment option is first false. And we will check whether the distance is greater than 100. Right, no, 90 is not greater than 100. So the, there's nothing change here because it won't go inside, right? So this first one is incorrect. Second one, if distance is 99 bus type, again true. No, again, 99 is not 
greater than this, that is also incorrect. So it could be either three or four. So let's start with the three. 101, it's greater than. So you go inside. Payment will be <clears throat> true, right? And then if the type is bus, it bus, payment option will be false. So this is the, the correct option. I think almost everyone got the correct answer. So I think that's also not that difficult one when you compare the other questions. Right. So the third one is the correct one. Okay, let's move on to question number 36. Right, marks obtained by 10 students of ICT paper is given in the array A. Remember what is an array A? We use indexes, right? Array means with a single name, we can store multiple values. So that is what an array is. So then we will have some index values. So we will have zero, one, two, this we call index value, right? Depend on how you put the value, right? Because it says it's starting with zero. So that's why I put zero here. If it says index is one, then we have to put one. Then this is three, four, five, you know, six, seven, eight, and nine. Right, marks 10 given this. Which of the following index items can be used to return the highest mark? So first of all, look at what the highest mark is. Right, so according to this one, we can see <coughs> highest mark is 93. So if you want to access 93, then it should be A, yes, within square brackets, we can put the index that is a7. Again, this is also not that difficult question. And I hope uh, everybody got the correct answer. Right. Okay. Let's move to the next one. Right. Question number 37. So how many times a dollar mark will be displayed after execution of following pseudocode? Right. So we have to identify how many times that is, you know, so this was a uh, quite difficult one because I see about only half of the class got the correct answer correct. So let's look at uh, the issues first. Now we, we look at like couple of loops. We look at while loop, we look at for loop, do while loop, repeat until. So remember in repeat until, this will repeat if, if this is false, right? Repeat until will repeat if the condition become false, right? So the condition at the end, so anyway, it will run once. So just check. Now, always better to put the initial value. So we will have P, then we have to have Q, right? So, so the starting value, when you start, that means when you are in uh, first iteration, before you go inside the loop, uh, we don't have a value for Q, but P, we know it's zero. So that's why we, we will start. Now you go inside the repeat. When you say repeat, it's a start of the loop. So this is loop number one. It says Q is P mod two. Mod two means you get the remainder. What is P? It's zero. Divide by two and there's no remainder, isn't it? So the Q will be zero anyway, right? Then we will say, if Q is one, then display dollar. Now Q, is it one? No. So dollar will not be displayed. Right, uh, let me put here the display. Display. Display nothing. Now what is P? P is P plus one, the earlier zero, then now it becomes one. Repeat until P less than five. Right, so now 
you are checking whether the p value right and then you can see p when you have 1 it's less than 5 right 1 it's 2 so this is true isn't it and you come out so nothing will be displayed <clears throat> that's where the problem comes in right because you have one, one is less than five, it's true, right? When you're true, you come out. So nothing to display. So the question is actually, there's a mistake. So you will get all answers, whatever you put it here, you will get all answers. Correct answer is no display. So that time, that was actually a, a, a mistake there, right? That is question number 37. So let's move on to question number 38. Question number 38, consider the flow chart on the right, which inputs a number and display the message valid mark if the input number is between zero and 100. Consider the flowchart on the right, inputs a number and display the message valid mark if the number is between zero to 100. Right. Now let's look at this one. So we have start, we have input n. You are checking whether n is greater than or equal to zero. Right. If not, then it says invalid mark. If it is a yes, okay, you have to check something. We have to p. R and Q. So the we check the zero here, we have to check 100 here, right? So the first one is you have to put what? So we have to check what? N with 100, right? Isn't it? P will be N with 100. So what do you have to check? Simple, isn't it? So the N should be, we can check whether it's less than or equal to 100. So that should be the P, isn't it? If it is yes, we know it's a valid mark. So if Q is yes, we know it's a valid mark. If it is no, what that means? It's greater than 100, right? So if it is no, then it will be R. So to get the correct answer, P should be this, right? Q should be yes and no. So that means we will get with the second one, isn't it? The, so we have n less than or equal to 100. So that's p. q should be yes. r should be no. So the answer is the second one. Right. OK. So the, I think that is also not that difficult. Right? OK. Uh, let's look at what we have. Question number 30. Nine, which of the pseudocode is equal to the logic of the flow chart? Uh -huh. So right now we have a flow chart. We need to find out what the logic is, right? So if you start with that, we have to have begin and end. Input C reads in no issue. This is okay, right? And then you make a plus 32 and multiply, no, this is not going to work, right? Because adding 35, now what, re, what needs to happen is, we have to have F, right? We have to, first of all, we have nine into C, then you have to divide by five, then you have to have 32. So this is what we need. But if you do this, what will happen? What is F? We have 9C plus 32 multiplied by 5. No, this is not going to work. So the option 1 is wrong, right? Look at the second option. 19 to C divided by 5 plus 32, but it's 3F. 
No, it's not also not correct. Let's look at C. 9C divided by 5 plus 30. Okay, this is correct. So option 3 is the correct answer. Okay, so we can see that the correct answer is the third option. Okay, let's look at the last question. That is uh, question number 14. Which of the following is correct regarding programming languages? Right. Now, when it comes to programming languages, we usually talk about machine language, assembly language, and high level language. Right. And machine learn language uses bits, zeros, and ones. And that's what computers can understand. The A is correct. B, assembly language. Usually we use a simple uh, code, right? Symbolic representation. B is also correct. C, high level programming languages are machine independent. So it's not depend on the machine that is also correct. So the answer should be A, B, C, O. Right. Now, having said that, um, now let's look at your individual marks. Uh, we can check individual marks and then I will send you individual marks for everyone. Um, now for Amasha, let me chat. So I'm sending Amasha's marks for 2018 paper. So that is not that bad, but uh, I think you have uh, some issues with some of the questions. So you have to focus only, you know, those parts. Uh, I'm sending you the, the answer sheet. So I am sending you uh, individually sending you uh, feedback, <clears throat> not the feedback, uh, right and wrong answers. So you can keep it. Just go through what places you made mistakes and make sure that you won't do this uh, next time. So I'm sending you a Marsha. Your answer sheet, please go through. I, it will be an image file. You can go through. Um, right. I have already sent Amasha your answers. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Uh, next, we have uh, Pramudi. Uh, Pramudi's marks also not that bad, but I think you can do better, right? So make sure that next time you get uh, more marks if you can go beyond uh, 35, that's better. I think you can, right? right? So you should as well. So let me send you uh, from Modi, uh, your marks as uh, your complete sheet as well. Uh, this will be sent as an image. You can go through 
look at uh, what are the mistakes that you have made. Right. Okay. Uh, so I'm sending you Pramudi. Unfortunately, I have three accounts. Which one? I don't know. I should send. Pramundi, can you confirm whether you have received the file? I send it to one of the mobile. Right, I will be sending you uh, to the next one. Uh, did you get now? Amasha, you have received, right? Okay, good. From the, can you confirm now? This is a second number I have. Ah, okay, good. Right, okay. Uh, please go through carefully and look at uh, what places you've made the mistake. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Uh, next, we have Achira. Uh, Achira, your marks is also good, right? I think you can also go better than this, especially you should aim more than 35, right? Uh, let me share your answer sheet as well. Questions will be similar to any way like this because today also what you have done is last year's paper and you will see uh, uh, you know how difficult it is. I will give you the marks for those as well. Uh, so let me save for Achira. Chira, uh, let me know whether you have received this. Right. The next one, we have Binus. I will share the answers. Good, Binu, uh, marks are good. But uh, Binu is not in the session. So I'll be sending anyway.
and ZDB knows one. And P knows one. Right. So, with that said, uh, let's look at today's paper, marks for today's paper. So the Pramudis marks, I'm sending Pramudis marks first. If this is disconnect, I will send you through your chat. Uh, 